Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Mass Effect 1 Legendary Edition. Uh, in the last episode we got started, we made our character. This is him. This is what he looks like. That's just what he's going to look like until I can think of something better to do with him. He's a bionic. We're going Paragon. And uh, actually, speaking of, since we're going Paragon, ha ha. Blue. Blue. I think that blue is better. I think that blue is better. Anyway. <laughs> so, um, yeah. Uh, we went bionic. So it's going to be a bunch of magic stuff. It's going to be a lot of charm dialogue option stuff. Actually, I'm probably going to focus charm above everything else. And then it's going to go like then adept and then uh i think singularity is like the coolest one like lift is okay but it doesn't work on everything so i'm gonna just start like i'm gonna do warp and singularity and like basic armor and pistols and i'm probably not gonna put any points into really like throw or lift at all i mean i'm going to just so I can like unlock lift because I need to unlock all the things like I need to push that into barrier as well to unlock things just so I can like get them used but eh. <laughs> excuse me uh, real quick I also noticed some like weird artifacting that was going on whenever I was trying to move I don't I think that's just an OBS problem I'm gonna I've tweaked some stuff so maybe it's better this time maybe it'll be worse I don't know it'll be it, it's a process and it'll get figured out eventually just like everything else always does anyway so I'm actually going to go ahead and put uh, points into charm here and I can't put one into pistols until I've leveled up basic armor enough to unlock the pistols. So instead I'm going to put points into warp. And that'll that'll be that. Alright, and we're not gonna look too much into that stuff. I do wanna try to collect everything. Like I said, this is gonna be a mostly completionist run. I'm not going to worry about it too much if I can't get everything done that I want to get done, but I'm going to try. He's a specter. They're always on a mission. And we're getting dragged right along with him. Relax, Presley. You're going to give yourself an ulcer. I wonder how you talk to people with keyboard. That's not it. That's not it either. Maybe I should look at the controls before I do something stupid. All right, move forward. Walk is T for some reason. Crouch is left control. Space is map. Equipment, squad. Okay, all that makes sense. Journal. Shoot, aim. Zoom, melee, first aid. All that makes sense. How do I talk to a person though? I just wanna. I just wanna talk to a peep. How do I talk to peep? Maybe it's the use button. That would make sense. Congratulations, Commander. Looks like we had a smooth run. You heading down to see the captain? Uh, yeah, he wants to see I'm me. I'm on my way to give him a status update right now. With all due respect, sir, maybe he'll finally tell you what we're really doing out here. All right, so um, I explained this a little bit before with the dialogue uh, wheel. So the top is usually the paragon, the middle is usually the snarky or the or the the neutral, and the bottom is usually the the renegade. That's on that side. On the other side, it's usually either special dialogue choices or questioning, and you generally always want to do that. You always you always want to question, and if you have a special dialogue option available, you usually want to do it. Not always, but usually. You think the Alliance Brass is holding out on us? If all we're supposed to do is test out the stealth system, why is Captain Anderson in charge? And then there's Nihilus. Spectres are elite operatives, top covert agents. Why send a Spectre, a Turian Spectre, on a shakedown run? We 
it doesn't add up. What do you know about the stealth systems? I just know it masks our location from scans and sensors. Cutting edge technology. The Normandy's the only <laughs> ship with this prototype drive. But why are we fully staffed? A skeleton crew would be cheaper, less chance of security leaks, too. Plus, there's Nihilus. It's pretty obvious this shakedown run is just a cover. For what? Damned if I know, Commander. We're out here on false pretenses. I'm not a fan of being left in the dark. I'm... I know it's probably really boring just to, like, watch the people talk, but I want to get this done. Uh... Do you have a problem with the captain? No, sir. But I can't figure out what he's doing here. Oh, God. Captain Anderson is one of the most decorated special forces officers in the service. There's a few facial and audio glitches. down all his metals, glitches. he could make a life-size statue of himself. You don't send a soldier like that on a do-nothing mission. He's treating this shakedown run too seriously. Actually, Something there's a... big is going on. There's a couple of reasons why you would do that, especially if he's got that many medals. Like, well, it's mostly political reasons. Not very, very rude ones at that, but... There are, they do still exist. You don't trust Nihilus. I don't like Turians in general. It runs in my family. My grandfather wow. fought in the first contact war. Lost a lot of friends when the Turians hit us. That was a long time ago, man. That was 30 years ago. You can't blame Nihilus for that. No, I guess not. But it still makes me nervous to have a Spectre on board. Especially a Turian. We're an alliance vessel, human military, but Nihilus doesn't answer to the captain like the rest of us. Spectres operate outside the normal chain of command. And they don't come along just to observe shakedown runs. <laughs> Nihilus looks like he's expecting some heavy action. I don't like it. I'll see if I can get some answers when I see him. Good luck, Commander. Okay, there's somebody that you're supposed to talk to here at the beginning of the game, and it's the only time that you can get any information on the Protheans. So I need to figure out who that is. I think it might be Caden over here? You probably don't want to keep the captain waiting, Commander. No. It's somebody, though. And it's right here at the beginning. And if you don't do it, then you're totally screwed for the rest of the I game. I one Doc. It's not the kind of place Spectres visit. There's something oh. isn't telling us about this mission. Oh, is it? The captain's in charge here. He wouldn't take orders from a Spectre. Not his choice, Doc. Spectres don't answer to anyone. They can do I don't they think want. it's them. Anyone who gets in their way. Uh, you watch too many spy vids, Jenkins. Shut up, Jenkins. It's not Something you. I can do for you, Commander? I was curious about a few things. You and me both. Like I said before, too many things don't add up on this mission. There's... Mm, I don't... I don't... I don't... I don't... What do you know about the stealth systems? I just know the Normandy's the only ship, plus there's Nihilus. It's pretty obvious this shakedown run is just a cover. Do you have a no, problem? No, sir. Cap, you don't send a soldier like that on. You don't trust Nihilus. I don't none. like Turians in general. It runs in my family. My grandfather fought in the I first better head down and see the game. Yes, yeah. I can't. I don't know who it is. Oh, that's going to drive me nuts. Oh, that's going to... That's... Mm, I don't even know if it's like right here at the beginning. I just know that it's at the beginning. I just don't know. What do you think, Commander? We won't be staying on Eden Prime too long, will we? We're looking for some real action. I sincerely hope you're kidding, Corporal. Your real action usually ends with me patching up crew members in the infirmary. All right, relax, Jenkins. You need to calm down, Corporal. A good soldier stays cool, even under fire. Sorry, Commander, but this waiting's killing me. I've never been on a mission like this before. Not one with a Spectre on board. Uh, tell me about Nihilus. What can you tell me about Nihilus? Turians are generally well respected by the other species. Their fleet has more patrols protecting Citadel space than any other. They don't always get on well with us, though. Some people find them too rigid. Oh my. Others still blame them for the first contact war. That makes sense. As for Nihilus, I haven't said more than two words to him. He usually only speaks to the captain. I heard Nihilus once took down an entire enemy platoon all by himself. Man, I can't believe I'm on a mission with an actual Spectre. Uh, turn about the Spectres. What do you know about the Spectres? Only what I've heard. Spectre agents work directly for the Citadel Council. They usually work alone or in small groups. Spectres don't have any official power, though. 
Basically, that they're a shadow organization with a mandate to preserve and protect galactic stability. Protect it at any cost. Don't forget that part. Spectres operate above the law. They're not human spectres? Why don't we have any of our own people in there? Spectres usually come from the council races, like the Turians. We've been trying to get a human accepted into their ranks for years now. So far, it hasn't happened. Hey, Commander, you'd make a good Spectre. You're a war hero, right? Held off an entire enemy fleet during the Blitz single-handed? That's the kind of talent the Spectres are looking for. This is all just wild speculation. The Spectres aren't interested in recruiting humans, no matter how capable. You're from Eden Prime, aren't you, Jenkins? What's it like? It's very peaceful, Commander. They've been real careful with development, so you don't have his, any city his noise. His face does not match the voice. My parents lived on the outskirts <laughs> of the colony. At night, I used to climb this big hill and stare across the fields back at the lights from the main settlement. It was gorgeous. But when I got older, I realized it was a little too calm and quiet for me. That's why I joined the Alliance. Even Paradise gets boring after a while. Any idea why Eden Prime was chosen as our destination? Not really sure, Commander. Eden Prime is one of our most stable colonies. Good place to take the Normandy for a shakedown run, I guess. No real danger there. But there's got to be something else going on. We've got a Spectre on board. That's why I'm so wound up. I can't wait for the real mission to start. Just treat this like every other assignment you've had and everything will work out. Easy for you to say. You proved yourself in the Blitz. Everybody knows what you can do. This is my big chance. I need to show the brass what I can do. Be careful, man. Also, I'm j I'm only now noticing that one of, like, his, his cheeks are just a little bit too pronounced. And it's bothering me, especially with the HD. Like, on your screen, it's not quite as pronounced as it is on my screen, but it's like, almost... <laughs> It's, it's, it's curved weird. It's, it's, it's very strange. Anyway. You're young, Corporal. You have a long career ahead of you. Don't do something stupid to mess it up. Don't worry, sir. I'm not gonna screw this up. Like I said, I've, I've always been really, really bad at um, face building things. I did this for fun. And if it's, if it's too annoying, I'll just go with like a default like I usually do. The captain's waiting for me. Goodbye, Commander. Yes, Commander, is there something you need? No. The okay. captain's waiting for me. Goodbye, Commander. So really quick, they've already mentioned the first contact war a couple of times. I don't know if they're really gonna cover it or if it's like something you have to read the codex for. I have read the codex for it, so I know it. Very, very quickly, uh, during the first contact war, uh, the Turians, they don't like other species really rising up to the point of galactic travel, especially when it's like in their space. So usually when things get a little bit too big, they'll just very discreetly be like, okay, well this civilization is like progressing badly. We're just gonna go ahead and like scrub it out. We're gonna make sure that they don't rise to spacefaring capability. What they didn't realize was that uh, we had that Prothean thing. They found it after we did, like we found it uh, 30 we, we found it like 100 years ago and they found us like 30 years ago so we were progressing way quicker than they thought that we were so when they came to come stamp us out we hit them back with very advanced technology <laughs> and while it was still like borderline modern just a little bit more it was enough for them to go oh crap whoops <laughs> we uh we were gonna come and wipe you out but since you're this evolved i guess you can join the council and a lot of a lot of humans are still really salty about that as you should be <laughs> they they did they did some bad stuff we did some bad stuff too don't do not do not get it wrong we did some bad bad things during the first contact war commander so shepherd <laughs> i was hoping you'd get here first it will give us a chance to talk the captain said he'd meet me here. He's on his way. I'm interested in this world we're going to. Eden Prime. I've heard it's quite beautiful. Beyond beautiful. They say it's a paradise. Yes, a paradise. Serene, tranquil, safe. Eden Prime has become something of a symbol for your people, hasn't it? Uh -huh. Proof that humanity can not only establish colonies across the galaxy, but also protect them. But how safe is it, really? Why are you asking? Do you know something? Your people are still newcomers, Shepard. The galaxy can be a very dangerous place. Is the Alliance truly ready for this? 
I think it's about time we told the commander what's really going on. This mission is far more than a simple shakedown run. All right, real quick. Uh, it's called the Human Alliance because after the spacefaring thing, everyone was like, okay, well, the humans need one organization. And we were like, well, crap, we don't really have one. Humans don't work a under a single unified banner. So it's essentially UN in space, the Alliance, the, the, the it's, it's the, the United, UNSC, it's the, the United Nations Security Council, question mark? I don't remember. It's something like that. And we are the armed forces of the UNSC. I figured there was something you weren't telling us. We're making a covert pickup on Eden Prime. That's why we needed the stealth systems operational. Okay, why the secrecy, though? There must be a reason you didn't tell me about this, sir. This comes down from the top, Commander. Information strictly on a need-to-know basis. A research team on Eden Prime unearthed some kind of beacon during an excavation. It was Prothean. Ah! Here! Prothean? I thought the Protheans vanished 50,000 years ago. Their legacy still remains. The mass relays, the Citadel, our ship drives. It's all based on Prothean technology. This is big, Shepard. The last time humanity made a discovery like this, it jumped our technology forward 200 years. And kept us but from being squashed Prime by the Turians. have the facilities to handle something like this. We need to bring the beacon back to the Citadel for proper study. Obviously, this goes beyond mere human interests, Commander. This discovery could affect every species in Council space. Yeah. <laughs> Why did we tell the Council? <laughs> yeah. It's like the last time we found humanity found something, it was on Mars, and it jumped us ahead 200 years, like you said. And we're actually still researching it. It was basically a, it was a, basically a Prothean library, and what we found was basically just a library card. But it still jumped us forward like crazy. And, We've been digging in Mars ever since, trying to actually find the library. I think by Mass Effect 2 or 3, we found it. But in Mass Effect 1, we're still looking for it. Uh, but yeah, why do we tell the council? I think it's kind of obvious. But we're going to go with the, with the uh, uh, Paragon option here. It never hurts to have a few extra hands on board. The beacon's not the only reason I'm here, Shepard. Nihilus wants to see you in action, Commander. He's here to evaluate you. I should have known. Guess that explains why I bump into him every time I turn around. The Alliance has been pushing for this for a long time. Humanity wants a larger role in shaping interstellar policy. We want more say with the Citadel Council. The Spectres represent the Council's power and authority. If they accept a human into their ranks, he looks shows weird. how far the has come. <laughs> You held off an enemy he, he, he looked a lot better in the low res. Enemies. In the high res, he doesn't look courage, right. But also incredible skill. That's why I put your name forward as a candidate for the Spectres. Uh, you put my name forward? Why would a Turian want a human in the Spectres? Not all Turians resent humanity. Some of us see the potential of your species. We see what you have to offer to the rest of the galaxy. And to the Spectres. We are an elite group. It's rare to find an individual with the skills we seek. I don't care that you're human, Shepard. I only care that you can do the job. All right, and you respect this, Captain? I assume this is good for the Alliance. Earth needs this, Shepard. We're counting on you. I need to see your skills for myself, Commander. Eden Prime will be the first of several missions together. You'll be in charge of the ground team. Secure the beacon and get it onto the ship ASAP. Nihilus will accompany you to observe the mission. Okay, uh, tell me more about Protheans. What do you know about the Protheans? Just what they taught us in school. They were a technologically advanced species that ruled the galaxy 50,000 years ago. Then they vanished. Nobody really knows how or why, though I've heard plenty of theories. But everyone agrees, galactic civilization wouldn't exist without them. Their citadel is the very heart of galactic society. And without their mass relays, interstellar travel would be impossible. We all owe the Protheans a great debt. Tell me about Eden I'd Prime. I'd like to know more about Eden Prime before we touch down. It's a peaceful farming world, but it represents something much bigger. Eden Prime is one of our oldest and most successful colonies. It proved we were ready to face the challenges of settling new worlds, to forge a place for humanity beyond Earth. It symbolizes humanity's growth and evolution as a spacefaring species. And after this, it will be known as the world where humans made a discovery of galactic importance. 
Okay, tell me about the beacon. Why is this beacon so important? All advanced galactic civilization is based on Prothean technology. Even yours. If we hadn't discovered those Prothean ruins buried on Mars, we'd still be stuck on Earth. That was just a small data cache. Who knows what we can learn from this beacon? What if it's a weapons archive? We can't let it fall into the wrong hands. Wrong hands? Like who? The Attican Traverse isn't the most stable sector of Citadel space. There are plenty of raiders and criminal groups active in the region. They might figure a Prothean beacon is worth the risk of attacking an Alliant ship. Plus, Eden Prime is right on the border of the Terminus systems. Terminus systems? The Attican Traverse is under Citadel protection. If the Terminus systems attack, it's an act of war. Technically, yes. <laughs> but some Technically, of the species yes. in the Terminus might be willing to start a war over this. The last thing the Council wants is to get dragged into a major conflict with the Terminus systems. We have to keep this low key. Okie doke. Just give the word, Captain. We should be getting close to Eden. Captain, we got a problem. What's wrong, Joker? Transmission from Eden Prime, sir. You better see this. Bring it up on screen. I'm sorry, but Cap Manderson looks better in low res. <laughs> he just doesn't look great. Looks like a potato. Get down! Although I guess I shouldn't judge. My character doesn't exactly look right either. <laughs> we are under attack, taking heavy casualties. I repeat, heavy casualties. We can't get evac. They came out of nowhere. We need. Oh my God. Terrifying. Cuts out after that. No comm traffic <laughs> at all. Just goes dead. There's nothing. Reverse and hold the 38.5. 38.5? He was counting the seconds? Status report. 17 minutes out, Captain. No other Alliance ships in the area. Take us in, Joker. Fast and quiet. This mission just got a lot more complicated. A small strike team can move quickly without drawing attention. It's our best chance to secure the beacon. Grab your gear and meet us in the cargo hold. Tell Alenko and Jenkins to suit up, Commander. You're going in. Alenko and Jenkins. Alenko is Caden? We saw him on the bridge talking to Joker. Engaging stealth systems. Somebody was doing some serious digging here, Captain. Your team's the muscle in this operation, Commander. Go in heavy and head straight for the dig site. Oh, what thank about God, he's got his Captain? helmet on. Helping survivors is a secondary objective. The beacon's your top priority. Approaching drop point one. Nihilus, you coming with us? I move faster on my own. Nihilus will scout out ahead. He'll feed you status reports throughout the mission. Otherwise, I want radio silence. All right, he can count on us. We've got his back, Captain. The mission's yours now, Shepard. Good luck.